I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and uh, you know you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my tricks up there. Thank you very much. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw you lose yours. Welcome to it. You are listening to the big broadcast. We have got a great guest we're going to join here in just a few moments. Thank you for tuning in to the Jiggy Jaguar Radio Broadcast. Live video on our website, J-I-G-G-Y-J-H-U-A-R.com. Live from the KJAG Radio Studios in downtown Edmonton. Monday through Friday, 2 Central, 3 Eastern, 1 Pacific, 1 PM Mountain Standard, and of course, 24-7, JiggyJaguar.com. We have got a great guest with us today. They join us live as live can get here on the telephone. Rich Jones is with us, parenting your child in recovery. And we have got a great guest with us today. How are you, sir? Great. I'm doing fine. Thank you. So talk to us a little bit about this incredible book, my man. Well, uh, first thing I want to say is it's mostly a, a service uh, that we offer to uh, parents of children who are in recovery. And when I say children, I mean young adults, not juveniles. Uh, somewhere between the ages of 17 and 24 we usually work with. And we have a, a recovery process that is a little different, uh, but stems off of the usual recovery processes. And uh, it's something we're really, really proud of. Uh, that's not uh, not to say that uh, I myself have a history of a registered nurse for 35 years. So it's something that me and a couple of you other nurses have developed, and, and we're really, we're really proud of it. Fantastic, fantastic. So talk to us a little bit about uh, how this project came about for you. Well, this project came about because I myself, uh, my history is uh, in professional nursing. So uh, while I was there, I noticed how young people were recovering and or recovering from substance abuses and behavioral disorders. And uh, I kind of looked at where our system I thought was failing them and uh, some things that we could do to, to remedy that and some things some things we can do to make our system work even better and come find out uh, as we applied it, it, it really caught on and, and people uh, were enjoying the results. So it basically came from my, my work with the uh, young that were in trouble. So uh, I spent a uh, correctional nurse and a substance abuse nurse. And with a little history of a lot of self-improvement, things that we work with, we kind of put together a, a hybrid program, and uh, it and, and works pretty well. We're really proud of what's going on with that. We have uh, got a, a great guest with us today. Rich Jones joins us live here on our big program. So what has been the feedback you've gotten on this program and, and projects and everything? Well, uh, we're basically... We get a lot of great feedback, and the reason is is because we f- we don't focus on stopping individuals from uh, having be- behavioral disorders or taking drugs. We focus on uh, avoiding relapse and giving them a path that gives them more options than they ever thought they would have. And we find that we really we find that you cannot make a person change. But you can give them options, and they will change if you give them the proper options. And that's what the that's the feedback. The feedback has been really good with that. Uh, we basically work on basically three areas: improving the absorption of how they use the programming. We work on their individual methods of change, some physical methods of change. And when we put those things together, we find that uh, it works out really well for us. So uh, it's a little it's a little different in the fact that we really focus on once we get someone out of any type of detox situation or situation where they've been in actual trouble, then we work from there to create a new life map, and we give them, I like to say, a lot of physical tactics and tactics and strategies, and we work along with them for a ninety day period, and. Uh, that's basically, that's basically the start of it. You know, we just work differently to create a new, what we call, life map. And we work along also, and the best thing about it is, we like to do this without what we call the guilt and shame aspect. Most programs cause a lot of guilt and shame between uh, 
parents and the children and the children yes. and the young people in their community. What we do is we eliminate that guilt chain gap and do it in a way that is only promotional to achievement and getting out of that situation. And it works well when you eliminate the guilt and shame because that is the biggest, we find that that is the biggest obstacle toward creating a lasting change is eliminating the, the uh, upsetness and the guilt and the bad feelings toward it. We totally eliminate that with our method. So. Fantastic. We have got Rich Jones joining us today here on the telephone. He is uh, talking about parenting your child in recovery. It is an amazing, amazing piece of business. So what are some of your expectations for this project? Well, what we like to see is once we create a new life map and go through that 90-day period, uh, the expectation is that the individual will what we call have a new installation of how they actually get up, live their life, and start their day. And we create a situation that is what we call perpetual, meaning once we install this life management system, uh, it is built. Basically, it is built to last forever. Uh, it is a, a system and a way to live and approach each day instead of the norm. We found that when we track the young people that we work with in, in the correctional system, we found that most of the time it's because they had no, there was no foundation or no expectation from the moment they got out of the bed in the morning. And what we did is we started, we start from the ground up so that once they get up and start a day, they learn how to start a day, they learn how to segment a day in pieces they had to end the day and prepare for the next day. And it becomes, a, once we use that 90-day section, it becomes a habit. And once that habit grows, then the perpetuality in it is that there's some things that are called lifelong learning skills that are in, in, embedded inside of that, that attitude. And uh, that 90-day really creates a strong habit. You know, and we also, and we use the parents now as what we call a leverage-based system. In other words, we find that instead of sitting parents down and telling them about the disease and the illness, that is best, in our system, that is best left up to professionals uh, in those areas. We find that one of the things that has hindered the young people in getting better is that the parents and the child are inundated with the disease process and everything that went wrong. And there's no one there to actually pick up the pieces and build a new foundation. And that's what we do. Uh, being a registered nurse for 35 years, uh, I've learned that we can do this and we can make great strides and still keep our, uh, our medical people, our psychological people, and our therapeutic people in the loop and just create a really, really strong bond between all those groups instead of separating them out and, and acting you know, preferring that one act different than the other. We use them and we like multiply their strength, sort of like taking one, two, and three and making it six is what we like to think of, it. multiplying the, the power of the recovery. We have got Rich Jones. He joins us live here on our big program, Coast to Coast, Border to Border on iHeartRadio today, also AMFM247.com, the Quad Pod, and of course, you can find us each and every day. Our videos are uploaded to Rumble. Bit shoot, clout hub, all the various places. And Rich Jones joins us today here on our big program. So, do you have any success stories that you can share with us, my man? Uh, only in general, in the fact that the, the families that we work with, it's basically extremely, extremely personal situations. So, as far as a like, specific person success stories, but we can tell you in general, basically what what a, a, a situation would look like. Uh, what a normal situation would look like is an individual, the young person, either coming out of a correctional situation or being maybe bailed out, or we're talking about a young person who requires a detox or a substance abuse situation, and the best time to get them is right out of detox are right out of the program because the best time to start this is really at a baseline time where we can get everybody together and the non-threatening way in which the program starts 
is usually what contributes to our success because we start from a day one. Day one is the start, and we are with them uh, on a daily basis um, with different types of mediums. Uh, we find that the trick is to don't let anything be complacent. We mix up mediums, we mix up times, we mix up situations, and we keep everything um, very, uh, I got to put it, very, keep their alertness high. That's the, that's the key, and that's how we do it. And uh, families have really been uh, appreciative because we do something what, that we call um, immediate course correction, meaning that we know from the day the program, from the minute the program starts, if anything is going wrong or the individual is losing attention or losing the group, we know it immediately that day and course correction starts that day instead of most programs where by the time you meet them for the next week, you know, talk to them, it, everything has already went wrong. What we do is we have immediate course correction. So even during the day sections, we know whether or not responses are not well, you know, and if the individual is not adhering to the program. And we immediately course correct and straighten everything back out instead of, you know, instead of letting it get out of hand. And that's, so most of our successes are in immediate. We basically tell the family that you will immediately know when things are going well. Yeah. And we basically, and we incorporate in, that into our pricing model too. In other words, when you start the program, we make it a point to let you know that we will not, it's like no person left behind. The person, the individual and the family must be happy each and every, uh, each and every period that we give service or else we don't take one or one any money. In other words, we're one of the few recovery services that don't take your money out of your hand and then say it's up to you. We make sure that the family and the individual and the, are going on course before we take a nickel from anybody. In other words, uh, we guarantee results in a recovery situation, and that is not the usual in this in this industry. That is amazing. <laughs> that is actually pretty amazing, my man. Yeah. Um, so what has been, I guess, some of the challenges that you've had to face? By far, the biggest challenge is working within the industry. Uh, like I said, I registered nurse for 35 years. Uh, anytime you got try to break into the recovery industry, and you're if you're not a therapist or physician, you know, uh, or the counselors, if you're anything other than that, uh, and or the you know the facility, they uh, are not very cooperative, and. Our, our service is built to work along with those services. So, you know, sometimes we have to convince them that we are not trying to do their job. I've, like I say, I've been in nursery 35 years. I know how not to do a therapist's job. I know how not to do a doctor's job. I know exactly what they do. I know what the support they need. I know where the gaps in their methodologies are. And, uh, as working with the with the young individuals as long as I have, uh, I know exactly what they need and you know where the other disciplines come short. So the biggest challenge has been working along with others in the industry. I would say it's easy when we get to the families and we get the young person, but sometimes getting to them because a lot of times we really insist that the young person we're dealing with has been through or are currently in maybe a treatment system because we basically work to strengthen it and then we work on the non-relapse part that's where our specialty is that's so awesome that's been the biggest part we have got a great guest with us today he joins us live here on our big program so if people want to get more information on what you're up to how do they do that exactly well, we, uh, the, the program is called Parenting Your Child in Recovery, but my company is called Second Start, and we spell that with the number two, N-D-S-T-A-R-T-S dot com. Uh, 
if you look on it, you can get a little bit of, a little bit about our program. We really encourage someone who has a young adult in a recovery situation, and this is really works really best for individuals who failed or had to repeat recovery because they, you know, they didn't stand their treatment, didn't stand up. You know, to take those treatments that didn't stand up and strengthen those. So if you go to secondstarts.com, number two, N-D-S-T-A-R-T-S dot com, uh, this is a place where you can get in touch with us. We give a free consultation call. And actually, where we actually will talk to you. And if you don't want to join us uh, for whatever financial reasons or whatever, we will actually still create you an actual care plan and tell you everything we were going to do anyway. Uh, we will also start the program and initiate the program free of charge because we're confident that you will love what we're doing and we usually don't even we don't even charge until we get a little bit into the program so that we say that basically hey did we serve you did you know is this something that you want to do the way we're doing this is this helping your family and then not only then do we take any payment so we like to start we want you to see what results we can get you you know and uh our main the main thing we want to do is let you know that there's a way that once your young adult gets treatment, there's a way to make that treatment stick. There's a way to not only create a new life for your young adult, but we like to tell everybody, you're helping that young adult, you're helping the next generation because once this individual learns this way to apply, you know, life, then that will work down to your grandkids and those grandkids. It's, it's a, it'll be a lifelong learning event. And like I said, we don't until the person is completely satisfied and we you know, deliver, while we're delivering the program. So secondstarts.com, we, anybody who's in that situation, call us up, um, and we will be happy to uh, talk to you. We have a Facebook group called Parenting Your Child in Recovery. You can drop by there. We're, we're loading on teaching situations so in case you only want to call that go to parenting your child in recovery on facebook and you'll see some things in there from the podcast and you know some things that we do to you know provide teaching for you know family fantastic well you are amazing thank you for making some time for us today really appreciate the uh, opportunity and uh before we let you go uh, run it down for us one more time. How do we get in touch with you online and social media and all the various places? Okay. You want to find me, uh, website is secondstarts.com, uh, spelled the number two, N-D-S-T-A-R-T-S dot com. And uh, you can reach us at on Facebook group, Parenting Your Child in Recovery. And those are the two main places that we suggest you find us. And uh, just reach out if you got a situation or just want to talk about your situation. And maybe your child has had some failures in recovery. Or, um, and what we suggest the most is that this is a great time for prevention. In other words, if you think that you're headed that way or your child's in a situation, reach out. But this program will work excellently for you before you get in trouble. Um, so we would love to just talk and, um, and see what we have and see what we can help. Like I said, there's no obligation, and even if you do join the program, you will not you will not pay a nickel till you're happy. You'll be happy with what you got. There will be no risk like most of the other treatment centers where you pay thirty thousand dollars and you get the same person you deliver to them the first you know service like that. Yeah, that's no good. I wanted to change that when I was in corrections, and that's exactly what I want to do. I wanted to make sure that when families reached out and got help, they were also treated well financially instead of raked over the coals. Uh, you're a breath of fresh air, baby. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, there are so many people where they have figured out a way to make money in this business, and it's and it's that's not what it's about. No, and uh, I'm only interested in seeing people get better. Yeah, I uh, I am I am blown away by you. Uh, you are fantastic. Um, thanks for making some time for us today, and we will talk to you soon. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day, my man. Thank you very much for having me. Definitely. Have yourself a wonderful day.
There he goes. That is fantastic Rich Jones. Doing some amazing stuff over there. Get a hold of us online at J-I-N-Y. Thank you. 